If there were a couple of things you wanted people to know about alcohol and sleep, what would they what would they be? Yeah, there I think I probably haven't changed my tune and I, I don't see any upside in terms of alcohol for health or certainly for sleep. Alcohol is probably the most misunderstood sleep aid mm -hmm. that there is out there. Unfortunately, it's not an aid at all. Alcohol will hurt your sleep in at least one of three different ways. The first thing is that alcohol is also in the class of drugs that we call the sedatives. And again, when you have a couple of sort of nightcaps in the evening, you say, it helps me fall asleep. Alcohol is simply helping you lose consciousness more quickly. <laughs> it's not really putting you into natural sleep. The second thing is that alcohol will fragment your sleep in the first half of the night. And the reason that it does that is that alcohol will activate the fight or flight branch of the nervous system. Now, in the first half of the night, that's when we get most of our deep sleep. And when we go into deep sleep, we shift from the fight or flight branch of the nervous system over to what we call the parasympathetic nervous system, which is this quiescent nervous branch. Now, alcohol will crank you back over to the fight or flight sympathetic nervous system, which then makes your sleep, the depth of your sleep, far more shallow, so you don't get as much deep sleep. You wake up more frequently, but those awakenings are so brief that you never commit them to memory. Mm. So you never think alcohol is harming my sleep mm. by fragmenting it and sort of littering it with all of these awakenings. So your deep sleep suffers, your sleep is fragmented. And then finally, alcohol is very potent at blocking your dream sleep or your rapid eye movements.